Hi everyone, how you doing? Okay, the first thing that we need to know about when we want to meditate is this. Um, or the first question people have is, am I doing it correctly? Well, I'm here to tell you that any kind of meditating is correct. So is what we want to do is we just want to quiet our mind and get in touch with our subconscious, with the infinity out there. Quiet the mind, be quiet. Now the problem that people have, and I have, and I had the, it's getting better, is the fact that we have a subconscious mind, a conscious mind. What gets in the way when we meditate is the analytical mind. There's always thoughts and things going into your mind. Now, anybody who has tried to meditate has experienced this. I experience it all the time. What am I going to do? I got to go do this email. I got to feed the dog. Or I got to go pull weeds. Or tomorrow I got to pay this bill. Or I got to do this. You know, it could be a number of things, but just things keep going in our mind. And it's what we want to do is become aware that that's happening and bring our mind back. So when we become aware of what's happening and bring our back, you know, that's a win. That is a win. So when you meditate, it's like everything else. I'm sure you've been in like a, a, a church or a seminar or somewhere and you've done the kind of the, the head nod where you're falling asleep sitting up. Well, it's that state which is like the theta state. So it's between sleep and consciousness. That's where we want to be. And that's why a lot of the mentors and teachers of meditation will tell you to sit up. Why? Because if you lay down and you get into that state, there's a good chance you're going to fall asleep. Unless you're a very experienced meditator, you won't. But that's why we do that. So we get into that state to where we're halfway awake and halfway asleep. And that's called the theta state. That's where the subconscious mind is wide open and the analytical mind has shut down. Now it's going to take practice and practice and practice. So it's like, it's like training your dog to do something. You do it over and over and over again and pretty soon the dog will get it and do what you tell it to do. So the same with meditating. So there's no such thing as a bad meditation. So if you meditate for 10 minutes and you didn't feel nothing, well those 10 minutes your eyes were closed and you were concentrating on what, what you wanted to do, you've, you've done right. And it will get better and better and better the more time you go. So don't put yourself down thinking you're doing it wrong just because... Maybe you, you nod off or you're thinking all these different thoughts because that's natural, that happens. One thing, to keep bringing your mind back to it and eventually your mind won't go to the analytical stuff as much no more and you can start focusing. But when it does, think of it, you know, that's a win for you because you're aware that's happening. So be aware of that happening and you'll be okay and it's going to get better and better and better. So I hope this video helps some of you out there to understand that there is no wrong way to meditate. You just get in there and you just do it.